This is a quality young man, Jack Thompson. And they have it second down and 16 from the 28 with Jack Thompson hitting Brian Kelly. Thompson on a roll, comes back the other way to Bevin Maxi. Oh, there is nothing better than seeing some old school footage and getting to talk to Jack Thompson, who basically had, when he graduated, every single passing record, not in school history, but in conference history. You probably still got a throw left, right? Oh, that's that's impressive, Mike. I mean, <laughs> you know, to, it, it's also fun to watch these old, where'd you get these old films, man? <laughs> we, we, we dig deep into the archives. You did. You know, here's the best part about this whole situation. As the quarterback, and you know this, people have to follow your lead. And even right now, the crowd still follows your lead because in the break, he says, go Cougs. And the place goes absolutely <laughs> nuts. Hey. They're just listening to you. I love hey. it. I had heard this uh, about the first start for you. Take me back. Do you remember who the opponent was? My first start yeah. was against UCLA. Oddly enough, the yeah. opponent today. Take me through the memories yeah. of that game. Well, I remember coming up to the line of scrimmage. My very first play against UCLA was it, it, we played at Joe Albee in Spokane. And UCLA had a bunch of Samoans <laughs> on the other side of the uh, ball from me. And I, I came up the line of scrimmage. I see Manu Tua Sopo. Oh. <laughs> Terry Talatolo is a linebacker. We had Pete Pelle, defensive end. I mean, I'm looking at, you know, Island Brothers out there, and they looked at me and was like, hey, this dude looks like a Samoan, man. <laughs> and, and Terry looks across. He's a linebacker. He looks across the line of scrimmage. He said, hey, Soli. That's like, hey, dude. And I said, Talofa. <laughs> I said, hello. And he said, he went nuts. I, and then we snapped the ball. We got five yards. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him off guard. Caught him off guard. I, I tell you what, Jack, I'm old enough. I'm going to age myself. I was coaching this league when you were playing back in the late 70s. You don't look at coach. <laughs> well, you're kind. But here's the question I have for you. In your career, you threw 1,086 passes. Wow. Minshew threw 600 something last year. Yeah. What would your nickname be if you played in this offense? <laughs> I'd be jetting someone, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I talk with Coach Leach all the time, and, and just, I said, where were you when I was coming out of college, man? I mean, the, the ability to throw the ball 70 times in a game, I think I'd, I could hang with that. Right? <laughs> but uh, he has put together a terrific program. The, uh, you know, obviously the quarterback tradition lives on in, in, in Gordo and, and Minshew, what a character he is, right? Well, we love him. And then Luke is doing some good, uh, good damage up there in the NFL, and I, I couldn't be more proud and happy with the direction of Cougar football. You know, uh, Jack, we were teasing you before because I said I don't know, I don't. You need to start like you know, Tom Brady has that TB12, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever you've been eating, because it feels like you're aging in reverse, like Neither. you're our own like Benjamin Button that's, out here. That's the nicest thing a Husky could ever do. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good man. You're well, a good man. I, I Thank appreciate you. that. Thank but you. you know, I, I I think of now maybe I'm just ignorant on the history. But I always think to, of all the great quarterbacks who came through that you were one of the first. And then all of a sudden it went bananas with the Drew Bledsoe's. And, and then you go through like all the different names from the Ryan Leafs to the Alex Brinks. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we're getting uh, ripping and all the different guys have come through here. D do you ever kind of sit back and think like, man, I was maybe the beginning of all this and, and to see the tradition and what it's become now? Well, Nigel, for me, it, it, I feel blessed to have been one of the first ones. You know, when I came there, we had a quarterback named Ty Payne. He wore number 14. I wanted 14. We had Charlie Peck. We had John Hollywood Hopkins, was the, who was the original Minshew. Mm. I mean, he had the mustache and the whole thing. And <laughs> right. his nickname was Hollywood Hopkins, right? right. But, um, you know, when I, when I played, uh, that's when they first started throwing the ball. Back in the day when they had, you know, the wishbone and the triple option, the whole bit, uh, Jackie Sherrill came in and installed a passing Offense. First time the Pac-8 Pac at the time, then became Pac-10. And I think it just really started a trend. Jake, you know it's wild because you have mentioned how different the game is, just based off yeah. of the quarterback position specifically. You mentioned Luke and obviously Gardner and Anthony Gordon currently, who's the quarterback of this team. You're still in this community. What impresses you about what Gordon's doing, considering this is a guy that in, I think in most instances would have bolted when he yeah. wasn't able to win the job a couple years ago? Well, when you talk to the quarterbacks, uh, you know, I've talked to, I talk to the quarterbacks all the time, you know, I, I I had a good talk with John Bledsoe, Cam Cooper, and and you talk to every one of them, and they will tell you that the best thing that ever happened in Washington State University was Minshew coming on board, because they got to see 
a special kind of leadership that he provided. And we all know we needed that, you know, before um, Gardner came here. It was a blessing. You haven't gone through the tragedy that our school went through and, um, and our team. And, you know, when Gardner came in, well, he just brought in a, just a rare brand of leadership that we're all reveling in it now. Uh, we love the guy. Yeah, there is definitely something you mentioned, that tragedy with the passing of Tyler Holinsky, and yet that quarterback tradition continues to carry on. It was with Gardner, and you're right, the timing was probably good for this program, and now Anthony Gordon has been doing some special things. It is awesome to have you on He'd set. throw for 400 today if he played. <laughs> yeah, let's get after Easy. it. You have a couple throws. I am convinced of it. <laughs> I got a couple left in me. <laughs> <No>. A couple. <laughs> Jack, thank you again. Thank you, Mike. Nigel, thanks, thanks, Joel.